Coach Cam Coach made this shit. I'm Brendan Cron. This is Rex. And welcome to Jamming with Cron and Rex. The only podcast that will publicly accept that it is okay to judge a person's character solely based on how many either System of Downs albums they have on their phone or Tyga albums they have on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it's completely okay to, like, you should be able to ask for that in a, like, a job interview. Yeah. Like, can I see your phone? I need to see your playlist. Yeah. Do you have any of those? Do you have any Tyga or System of Downs? No. No. I hate both of them. Yeah. I, um, I used to have, uh... What's the one, like, Toxicity? The one that has, like, Chop Suey and shit? Oh. I thought you were going to say the Taiga album. Uh, I don't... The, uh, the I used, gold? Yes. The one that's, like, yes. the gold cover? Yeah, I used, I used to have, have that one. Like, yeah. um, Motherfucker Up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have some of those, but, you know, I grew up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not still listening to Chop Suey or... But no... Or Motherfucker Up. Yeah. Uh, I think those kind of go neck and neck. Like, grow up. You yeah. know? System of the Down... Is the taiga of rock. Yeah. And vice versa. But Taiga is the system of down. I I would say rap. I actually just recently got rid of some of uh, the like last few bits of Taiga that was on my phone. Cause I went through and shuffled my entire phone and I was like, is that Taiga? Like, why? Yeah. You know, like I it's hard why? for me to even listen to a song that has him as a feature. Like on even like Vince's not newest album, but FM. Yeah, when Tyga had a part, I was like, I don't even. Some I don't of them skip this. Some of them I can't avoid, really. Like, um, like loyal. Like mm-hmm. you remember that? Yeah. Like with like Chris Brown, Lil yeah, Wayne. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Some of them you just can't really avoid. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm not totally fucking against them, but, but I don't know. It just it makes me think of the audacity of our uh, of our uh, truck driving buddy Jacob. Yeah. To. Uh, you can only imagine what kind of person it takes to be like, hey, man, I, I know you got ox, but, like, can I play a song? And that person wholeheartedly trusts you with their phone. Yeah. And you put a song up next, and you give their phone back to them, and now their phone has six system of a Downs albums on it. Yeah. Like, that is not the way to go about it. Like, no. I don't care what artist you're trying to show me. I will not like them. Like no. that's what that's what like Apple did with you too. Yeah, like, like you, it's on your phone. Yeah, like, you can't get rid of yeah, it. There it's, it is. Yeah, in six fucking albums. He was like, I was like, dude, what the fuck is this? And he was just like, oh, I want you to listen to him. I was like, send me a song yeah. at a time or something. Like text me later. Send me a song or just be like, hey man, you should check this out. Not six fucking albums. I'm not listening to one album. No. No, I, I, and I am fully aware, like, this didn't happen, like, 12 years ago. Like, this was, this was, like, probably a year ago. Like, I'm fully aware of System of a Downs. I, I know who they are. I've already had my phase where I listen to them, and I'm done. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, no, man, you ought to listen to them. I fucking know. Who do you think you're putting onto this? That's not how you do anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually pissed me off this week. <laughs> it happened so, so long ago. It happened a year ago. It's pissed you off this week. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, it doesn't didn't really resolve anything. Like, I don't, I don't think I fully got to express how bad that pissed me off yeah. when he did it. Because I was, it, it's not, it, it's system. Of, I know who it is. Everybody knows who it fucking even, is. We all decided to stop listening to them. You know? Yeah. And even if it wasn't, even if it was an artist I liked, if I hand anyone Ox and they download six albums, I'm deleting six albums and anything else that I already have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you do not. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's a really shitty thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really bad quality in a person. But he hasn't done that with um, with Tyga. Thank God. Yeah, I haven't talked to him, <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't given him the fucking chance. But this week, we actually do have, and I know you guys aren't used to it. We actually have topical events to talk about. Yeah. You know, um, by the time you hear this, it will be Wednesday and we're recording on Sunday. So, you know, some of the things won't be, well, some of the things will have already happened. Like, you know, we want to give our predictions about the Woodley Jake Paul fight that's happening tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, We're talking about 
uh, we'll want to talk about Donda that just dropped, mm-hmm. and um, you know, we got Cowboy Bebop just released a live action series, not a movie like I thought it was. Yeah, where you want uh, to start? We got Karen Nurmagomedov that we could talk about. <laughs> Let's start off with Cowboy. Okay, because. Yeah, I, I, I totally forgot you had that shirt on. Yeah, I didn't wear it for the for the bit. I just like the shirt. You're going to turn it into a crop top, right? Yeah. Why Why that shirt? Why is that like wh- where you start your crop tops? Just the design. Seemed like it fit well. So if I'm being honest, the one you should have already done that with is... Can you guess? No. What? Kill Bill. No, that shirt's... That shirt has uh, a lot of crop top ability. Like it, it could. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah, those no, like the designs think, up top. I think it? the whole back has a uh, something. Does it really? I think it's like really big on the back. I'm I don't focus sure. on your back. I just because I thought like the front is yeah, all just it like is, tits. Yeah, it is perfect. I've seen a lot of shirts that I really liked. Yeah, that like I was like, oh, I'd like that as a crop top, but they're long sleeve. I don't want a long sleeve crop top. Yeah. Are you going for like the kind of kid cutty crop top yeah. appeal, or I, I didn't know if you was going to be like Ezekiel Elliott, like. Where you're like want to grow into a crop top because people can still make fun of Kid Cudi. Yeah. What are you going to say to Ezekiel Elliott? Nothing. Like, oh, nice crop top and bull ring, and then you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So if you say it in the little, wrong tone, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah. But so, so yeah, show. yeah, yeah. What what's your predictions? Uh, what do you think about the casting? What do you think about them saying yeah. that it can just fucking go on like One Piece? Uh, okay. What do you think about Netflix owning it? What do you think about it being a live action series? I don't think live action means bad when it comes to anime. I don't. Can you give me an example? No, because they all are bad. But I don't think that it means that it will It doesn't be. have to. Exactly. But so far it does. Yeah. And so this was something I was like, even if they were like, hey, we're just going to do a new bounty every week. Um, we're going to do the live action cast. The set looks really good. I really like the, the spaceship and all that. I think it looks nice. Yeah. The problem for me is the wardrobe looks incredibly cheap. And usually that's not something yeah. I notice. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we're not sticklers about yeah. that. We're not like uh, 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 f- film 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 buffs, film yeah. nerds, yeah. Uh, douchebag. I don't know. <laughs> but wait, I don't know. We don't usually focus on that shit. But like, it yeah. looks like they ordered it off Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like they went to the like the closest Halloween store. And you know, just grab them. You know, like when you buy a Halloween costume, it'll show an example of somebody wearing the yeah. costume. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like the model picture for it. It just like average looking people. And yeah, it's really weird. Like because they look almost identical. Like yeah. the outfits, they look almost identical to the show. Yeah, and I think that's not a good thing. If they're gonna, they either need to be like everything needs to be exactly the same, or they need to do like their own thing. Yeah, I. I always wonder, I wonder why it gets, what, what's the opposite of whitewashed? Diversified? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Some> Inclusion. <laughs> but yeah, cause like, I, like I know anime is a more Eastern thing, like specifically like Asian yeah. thing, but a lot of the characters don't look Asian. You know? I, I, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, and there's a there's decent a amount that's, like, yeah. geared towards Western audiences. Like, like... My Hero's the best like, example. Yeah, My yeah. Hero. Like, they... You know, his punches are modeled after states yeah. and the entire country of the United States. Like, yeah. they're... Like, it's very blatantly towards a Western audience. So, I one, I honestly wonder why that is. Why they do that. And because whenever I say they look more like a traditional white person, I mean that, like, their eyes are fully rounded, for the most part, and they're white. Like, very distinctly white. Like, mm-hmm. um, why can I not think of his name? Cowboy. What the fuck's his Spike. name? Spike. Spike. Yeah, yeah, Spike is a white man. <clears throat> like, I mean, I'm talking from hair to yeah. face. I mean, I see a white man. And I, I don't, it's really weird how, like, whenever it goes to live action, they're like, no, it was written by, like, Asian people in an Asian culture, so it has to be that. And, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. 
and they like I think Spike Lee, uh, not, not Spike Lee, <laughs> Spike. <laughs> I think Spike is supposed to be like a very good looking guy. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm picturing a live action version of him, I don't know who I'm thinking of off the top of my head, but like I'm picturing a good looking guy. Yeah. And Faye Valentine, I'm picturing a good looking girl. Like, yeah. I, maybe they wanted to make it more grounded. I think the Faye Valentine's really weird because, like, even on the shirt, like, she's bent over showing her tits. Bad. Yeah. Like, Bad. But she uses, like, she uses sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but in the show. We're just taking it away. Zipped all the way up, like, to her neck. Like, they're trying to show, like, no yeah. sex appeal. Like, I, I, and it's not a bad thing, I guess. Yeah. But it's kind of weird. Like, like if you're going to try yeah. to be, like, so exactly the same, why those changes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Weird. I don't know. There's a... I don't think it's necessarily going to be bad. I don't either, but I... I do. <laughs> I I honestly immediately think it's going to be bad because, mm-hmm. one, Netflix has control of it, and they're the reason why everybody, whenever thing like anime comes to live action, yeah. that everybody's like, "Oh fuck!" Like, I mean, they butcher Death Note. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they just, I don't know, they don't thrive in that department, and for whatever reason, they just want to keep doing it. Like, they just, I don't think Cowboy needs to be done like that. I definitely don't think it needs to be a show that is forever going, especially in live action. Yeah. Because if you want to do a Clone Wars thing where, like, each episode or each few episodes is, like, a different war or mission bounty. or, yeah, bounty. or a bounty in this yeah. scenario, that makes way more sense to do it in, uh, like, the anime realm yeah. than it does in live action because they're going to get old really fucking fast. Yeah. Like, they already look like they're in their 30s, so. It is weird. I want to, I'm going to probably watch it. Yeah. Whenever dog, it comes out. Ein is casted perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't mess it up. I'm surprised they didn't like they did get a pit bull or something. Just I, I even like um, I, I don't know the actor, but I like the like look of the guy that they have uh, for what's the uh, I think his name's Jet. Jet. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I like I like kid like just based off of like looks. Yeah. Like I like that. Yeah. Because his well again his is the least cheap looking costume. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that helps. Looks, it looks fine. Yeah. But. I'm going to watch it. I'm hoping that as long as the costumes aren't just so obviously, like, just cheap looking, that it, like, I can get into it and yeah. then it could be good. Because I do think that it could be good. It, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it really could. Because if but you take my away, money's on no. Yeah, me too. But if you yeah. take away, like, the cowboy side and someone pitch a live action. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> pitch a live action space western, you'd be like. I'm interested. I'll check it out. Yeah. Like, it sounds at least interesting. So it should be a decent live action, but I don't know. Well, I think one of the things that I loved about Cowboy that they won't be able to recreate is just the the style of anime. Yeah. Like, it's so very, like, distinctly, like, a 90s look. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. And that, to me, that's a big appeal to that. And I do like the short running of it. Yeah. It did no more than it needed to. Yeah. It's not just doing stupid little things. It's not just doing, it's not just doing a bunch of like little, uh, side off shit, which I feel like the show is going to be full of. It's just filler. Yeah. Well, kind of, that's why I kind of like cowboy so much is they kind of do that, but in like the background is yes. your main story. Yeah. And then once the main story hits the foreground, yeah, that's when ev- just shit hits the fan, everything gets crazy, and it really, really gets good. 24 episodes, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was thinking 20-something, so yeah. I, I just don't think it needs to be tampered with, especially by the people at Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, so. I am really hoping that my favorite character does not get casted. I hope that Edward does not make it to the live action. Why? Because he seems like, or she seems like she is just like... A anime character, like she's yeah. the wacky. She's very animated. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. See well, you know she's got to be. She's got to be there. I mean, likely. she's a huge part of the show. She yeah. ends up becoming like yeah, yeah. She's she's a really good part. 
And it's cool how much we can talk about this show that's only 24 episodes and not spoil anything. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. We haven't even, yeah. We haven't mentioned anything of the plot at all. How have we talked about live action uh, adaptations from anime and not brung up the Dragon Ball movie one fucking time? That one's horrid. It's it is so good for the wrong reasons. Oh my god! I I intentionally love watching bad movies. Yeah, I I, yeah. I think it's one of the funnest things you can do is going into a movie knowing it's bad. That's the difference. Yes. If yeah. you think that a movie's gonna be good and it's bad, it's it's a horrible experience. Like, like The Village, I will I will bring it up every time somebody brings up bad movies yep. that were popular and supposed to be good. Yep. The Village by M. Night Shyamalan is genuinely the worst movie, the worst plot twist I have ever fucking seen in my entire life. It was like it was like a really, really, really bad episode of Scooby Doo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I really don't know what else to say about it. It was like Scooby Doo written by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> the village. And he, he can be so fucking good. Can be. He can do he can do he writes he, they need to just start letting him make the first ninety eight percent of movies. Yeah. And then after that another director takes over. Yeah. Like, no. We're not doing the twist. Yeah. We're not no. No. Up next, I want to uh, us to officially state our our predictions. Because, you know, okay. as we said, this will come out Wednesday. It's Sunday now, we're still in pre fight. Uh, pre fight territory, so you know, we don't know what happens, but what do you think the outcome is? So we talked about this before when it was first announced, and yes. we said the one big thing that needed to happen was Woodley has to take this serious, or he is actually going to lose. Yeah. Woodley looks like he's taking it serious. Yeah. So now it's hard to bet against him. Yeah. The thing is, for me, I'm going to bet on who I would like to see. And who I'd like to see, weirdly enough, is Jake Paul. And the reason is, okay. is if Woodley wins, what's next? Woodley's not doing anything with it after. He might go into another boxing match, but it doesn't do shit. Like, yeah. okay, cool. Like so, He's not really hyping up this fight. If Jake Paul wins, then we're getting another big blockbuster fight. And I would rather see another big name, crazy fucking fight than I would just him to shut the fuck up. Even though I kind of want him to lose. Yeah, I'll say I I am definitely wanting and at this point I'm honestly thinking that Woodley's going to win. Yeah. He seems he seems really focused compared yeah. to what like Ben was. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think he's actually taking this guy a bit seriously and I honestly you know, at first I was I was all aboard that train, but I really don't fucking care if Jake fights again. I'm kind of over that whole shtick. Really? I, I think it's kind of played out for me now. Hmm. You know, like, I don't this know. This one's I been mean, the least hyped. I just don't fucking care anymore, man. Like, really? I don't know. It's kind of burnt out on me. Hmm. I just don't think that this one's been hyped up. I mean, shit, I didn't even know it was this weekend. And then I thought it was Saturday. And then it turned out to be today. Yeah. So, like, I haven't even known... Really, that it was going on. Versus, versus like the Ben Ashkin one. Yeah, that one was hyped up. It was really fun. Every press conference was really fun. Yeah, this the least just, fun thing about it was the actual fight itself. Yeah, and that's not just because Ben got knocked down like three seconds, but Triller also did horrible with that. Yeah, but I don't know, man. The, the whole shtick is just kind of, I don't know. It's just kind of played out with me. I don't really care. It's just he calls out somebody, talks shit until somebody responds and then it turns into a fight. I don't care. I don't know. I'm hmm. kind of done with that. I mean, you can only go so far with that, but I'm hoping either way after this, mm-hmm. cause I mean, even stepping into the ring with Tyron Woodley is an accomplishment of itself. Yeah. With almost basically not, I mean, basically he really doesn't, I don't think he really deserves to be in the ring with Tyron Woodley. I mean, if you look at their like accomplishments and resume, like this seems like it should be beyond Woodley. You know, oh, I mean, yeah. he's a, a for sure Hall of Famer, arguably top five welterweights of all time, former UFC champ. I mean, yeah. the dude's accomplished. He really doesn't need this, but I don't know. So I'd kind of like him to just knock Jake Paul the fuck out. I don't think that's stopping Jake mm-hmm. from going on and doing other things, but. I think that will kind of because when your thing is ba- when your whole shtick is based off of, I guess 
talking shit to the next person instead of like, oh, you're a legit boxer, so you're just gonna you know you're yeah. gonna keep fighting people based on your rank or like what makes sense. I think it's gonna take a lot of like. I think it's going to take like a lot of gas out of the tank for him if he loses yeah, to Woodley. Yeah, for sure. Because like you're not going to fight Connor next. You're not going to fight Nate Diaz next. You're going to have to take. You're going to, have to take like quite a few steps back. Yeah. Like you're not. You're definitely not facing Canelo within three years. No. That's what. That's what he talked about. He yeah. think he said if he keeps going like this, he thinks he'd be Canelo. Yeah. And Canelo, which I think, a go. Yeah, which I think that that's just a little hyped up. Yeah. But I also think it's kind of. Cool to see him actually want to box. Yeah. Because, like, now he's calling out real boxers. Yeah. Being if you gotta, crazy about it, yeah. uh, calling out the GOAT, yeah. and saying you he's going to win in three years. But at the same time, I get it. That's a huge jump. Yeah. I get it, though. Like, if he was like, hey, I would just really like to fight him, and within the next three years, I'll probably lose, but it'd be fun. Everyone's going to be like, you don't fucking like, care. I'll say, what is he maybe fighting like an opponent every six months? I mean, I'm not it saying seemed, that's a low amount, but that seems kind of like a reasonable thing, yeah. like preparing for the next fight. It seems like it was sooner. I don't see what steps he could take that it would make sense to fight Canelo in three years. Like for Canelo to accept that within three years. Because there's definitely been people like been... Six fights? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's definitely people that's been building up to Canelo for longer than three years that deserve it way more who have fought like actual boxers that's not Woodley but again yeah. if he beats Woodley hell of an accomplishment if he beats Woodley I have no idea who could be next if he beats Woodley this is a fucking simulation <laughs> this whole thing is fucking shit this is just rigged yeah I don't know yeah I don't know I'll say I'm gonna um, take just for the argument of... Oh, I'm, yeah, actual prediction. I'm interested in seeing how this goes. You took Woodley. I'll take Jake Paul. How? How? Yes. How many rounds is it? Let me look at that up. And say, I don't even know how long the fight is or anything. God, it'd be great to have a guy behind the camera. You know? A Jamie. Eight rounds. Eight rounds. Does it say how many minutes? Eight three-minute rounds. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, that seems good for both of them. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like either of them have, like, crazy stamina. Honestly, then that's kind of a testament to Jake Paul. We've never seen a fight last that long with him. Yeah. We did, in uh, Tyron Woodley's last fight, we did see him get decimated standing up. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be good. I'm not saying it's like a blowout, but... I do think if Woodley really did put in the work, I think he's got this. Yeah. I really it, do. He looks like he's taking serious. He's 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 doing pretty good with uh like outdoing Jake Paul at his own game. Yeah, he really is. Like you know, Jake Paul a lot of his thing is like drawing in fights and I think I don't know, I think he's done pretty good at just like being able to like kind of surprise Jake Paul. Yeah. From where Ben Askren's not a big name. Yeah. Even though he is, he was good. Ben Askren wasn't a big enough name that he needed to talk shit. He needed to get into that, like, that environment. Mm-hmm. Where Woodley's been able to like be quiet, but then whenever they're in the press conference, as long as he says like one or two witty things, he's winning all the press conferences. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. And hopefully whoever wins moves forward and does something kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm even really... If, even if Woodley wins, I would like to see him like progress his career in boxing rather yeah. than just be like, all right, I'm done. No. That was for nothing. Honestly, I'm, I'm cool with this being like a, like he's kind of just Woodley's in thing. You know, he gets, right. he get, he gets his, uh, I guess, retribution for his teammate Ben Askren. You know, yeah. he just kind of shuts up somebody that's been annoying everybody in, I don't know, who's fans of MMA. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I think it'd be kind of a neat thing to just end it on because, I don't know. He's kind of just making MMA look bad. It really is. Yeah. It was, you know, just like YouTube Disney stars going through and just whooping ass. You know. And calling out the owner. Yeah. Which, you know, he has done good for MMA, too. Yeah. Because I, I think, you know, them being, you know, people like Dana White being called out is fucking great. Yeah. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy how much the UFC fighters are just not paid. Yeah, they definitely need to get paid. But let, let's not focus on that too much. Okay. We do have other things on the dock, because we are actually being 
Topical. Topical, yeah. which is not normal for us. No, I don't even know how to feel about it. Um, so before we move on to the next thing, song of the week. You got yours prepared? Yes. My song of the week this week is Love Affairs by Umi. The song that I showed you that oh, definitely sounds kinda, like SZA. Yeah, it kind of sounds yeah. like SZA. Yeah. I had some debate with mine. Okay. Because I was like, I know that we have been kind of steering away from like doing a repeat uh, artist or a repeat from the same album. But I think I would be lying if I said any other song. Hmm. Because this week, the song that I've been absolutely jamming out to the most is Hell of a Life by Kanye. Hmm. I love that fucking song. Just him saying, one day I think I'm going to marry a porn star. He kind of did. He basically did, you know? I mean, if you look on Pornhub, I think Kim's still, like, top ten. I know she's always... I know I have crazy, crazy friends. I say it's it's really nothing but a click away if you're <laughs> if you're on any of my devices. Why didn't you just look up Kim? I already had well because usually if you look at the ranks, it'll like you yeah. know it'll tell you, but I'm not seeing her. Yeah, maybe she's out of the top ten. Well, this is also verified, mm-hmm. so I don't think yeah, I don't think Kim actually has like yeah. her a uh, verified account. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, but I'm sure people are still pounding off to her uh, her videos. I know I am. <laughs> I uh, I was hoping you'd finish that for me. <laughs> I don't know why you would be able to. I guess it's more reasonable that you wouldn't be able to. But yeah, I love that. I've always I've always liked the little idea of me marrying a porn star. I wish I was like I was at that level to where that was just an option. You know, just I could just casually marry a porn star. Mm-hmm. We get divorced by the end of the night. It's just a hell of a life. Yeah. My, um, I didn't even mean for it to be related, but my notes are so fucked. Like, I just have a bunch of stuff me and you can talk about. Mm -hmm. And then I have various orders from restaurants that, like, you know, I'll I'll pick up stuff for, like, you and my girlfriend and stuff. And then I have, like, potential ideas to jack off to later. Like, I have, like, Riley Reed. Uh, the Harley Quinn video and then just other various porn stars that I, I guess I was just feeling that day that I was like you know when I get home then like here I'm gonna this is gonna be the list uh-huh. yeah it's a, a yeah and then a lot of it's over under shit and then mm-hmm. bracket ideas uh, what I want to get from Lowe's yeah I know you have two bracket ideas Notes, yeah, because you've shared them both with me, yeah. So I don't know which one to update whenever I come up with any various passwords. <laughs> you have a lot of weird things in your notes. Must watch movies. No, it's uh, Riley Reed as Harley Quinn. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's actually, I actually do have movies I want to watch <laughs> that don't involve porn, but. But yeah, yeah, okay. So something that I have kind of been bouncing around about, I. I am, like, there's, like, mythological creatures in the, like, realm of music that I am so fucking curious about. Like, have you ever heard a song about a woman? Like, I'll just throw Jessie's girl out there as an example. What does she look like? Mm Mm-hmm. Who is Jessie's girl? Like, I, like, and I I actually made a little footnote about it. Mm -hmm. As, like, I want to know what Stacey's mom looks like. Like, we saw the music video, but, like. Oh, like actual Stacy's mom. The number one, like, want to know who they are? It, it's in my list, I guarantee it. Jolene? Jolene. Jolene is the must know how bad she must have been. I mean, dude, it, it's crazy because Dolly Parton's a piece on of herself. Dude, she you know? has always been a piece. Yeah, I mean, yeah, from day. Uh, you know, she wrote um, I Will Always Love You. No. That's not Whitney Houston's song. Are you sure? I swear. I fucking swear. Because she, she spent the like beginning part of her career mm-hmm. with uh, like on a show, and her and this guy wrote music together. And then they was basically like, hey, you're pretty fucking good. Like, you're yeah. kind of limiting yourself by staying here. So you need to, like, you probably should, like, venture solo. Like, yeah. you're too good for this, basically. Which I think is a cool thing to yeah. tell anybody. I love hearing stories like that. Yeah. 
Tyler the Creator has a good one of him like working. I want to say in a warehouse, mm-hmm. and he told his uh, he told his boss that he was going to leave to go like somewhere for music, mm-hmm. and he was like he was like go. I'm going to pay you. Get out. Yeah, like you need awesome. to get out. You yeah. know. But yeah, she. So her like parting gift to this guy that she worked with, who she owes like a lot of her career to. Yeah. In her words. Um, she wrote for him. Hmm. Like, that was kind of her goodbye. Like, I will... It yeah. honestly sounded like I was about to sing the Lion King thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, I, don't know. I don't think she wrote that. <laughs> I don't know. But, but yeah, so I... I, I just, yeah, that's crazy, too. Yeah, I just watched a video about, like, songs' real meanings. Yeah. That, like, people get mixed up. Like, people play, like, White Wedding by, like, uh, Billy Joel at their wedding. Yeah. That is a very non-wedding song, because yeah. he's literally talking about, like, kind of the opposite. Yeah. But, so, do I... Do you look up what Jolene looks like? I look up Jolene real person, but... I know Jolene's a redhead, because she talks about it, and then, yeah. like, Eyes of Emerald Green. There's no way. There's no way that's that's Jolene. Yeah, uh, well... We'll we'll pull up the picture here. Yeah, here is that too high? Uh, it'll be just right in the middle of us. So, here, <laughs> here, <laughs> it'll be right here. But uh, yeah, that's right there is what Jolene looks like. Hopefully, the picture is up there because if not, just point it right at Brendan. <laughs> that's Jolene. Egg him. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, I was Jolene. I don't know. I, I think this person. I think whoever this man was is dumb. Dumb. I mean, yeah, in the long run, I don't. I, I, I don't know. I wish I, I was seeing in between because I think we're just seeing like a middle school picture to like a forty year old accountant. Like I want to see an in between, like yeah. prom Jolene. I want to see Jolene and her prom standing beside Dolly Parton. Almost Dolly Parton. Like see, like look at this. This is what they did. This is like an eight year old yeah. Jolene versus a fucking banging Dolly Parton. I mean, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. I mean, fair. it's not fair in general. Just Dolly Parton is for sure yeah. better looking. There was no way it wasn't. I mean, who is that side-by-side made for? Because like, when you look at that, your immediate first thought is going to be comparing them. Yeah. Because it's literally a... It's like a... Like like Kentucky versus Louisville, Celtics versus Lakers, yeah. Cribs versus Bludge, Jolene's versus uh, Dolly Parton. And the only way you're going to be able to have, like, a legitimate thought about this is if you're, like, Jeffrey Epstein, which um, cannot be on the podcast anymore for numerous <laughs> reasons. So. Anymore? Well, yeah. At some point, it would have been kind of cool to have him on the podcast, right? Like, I'm not even saying, like, because we j- people don't have to be on the podcast because we agree with them. I, yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying. So, like, could you imagine, like, after all that shit happens, after the uh, the documentary drops... He agrees to come on this podcast. Yeah, I get it. We're yeah. the ones that have the responsibility of asking him questions. I have no idea what I'd ask him about. Song of the week like, would be absolutely great. What's your song of the week? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> hey man, have you been on Netflix recently? <laughs> Shit is not good. <laughs> uh, we want to know your song of the week, and we have a couple hypotheticals for you. <laughs> <laughs> so can you speak into my chest a little bit more? <laughs> But, yeah, crazy responsibility, but... <laughs> God, Dolly Parton is a piece, ain't she? Yeah, she always has been. But I don't... I, I don't know. And I fully trust that Dolly Parton was... I mean, that Jolene was banging. But there is this article that Dolly Parton says that the real-life Jolene is now wearing Depends. <laughs> which, as if you don't know what Depends are, they're adults for diapers. And so... Yeah. I was going to say, what if, like... Another check for Dolly. What if she, like, just wrote it about, like, herself? Like, what if she was the Jolene and then just wrote it... Well, she's someone's... independent? Like, no, no, no. no. I, that's yeah, what I was going to say. Bitch is independent. <laughs> <laughs> but c- since we couldn't find anything, that's what I was going to say. But I don't know, man. She says it like it's a real person that... Yeah. ...is a real fucking idiot for ever... Not sticking with Dolly Parton. So, I would love to do a deep dive on this. Yeah. And I think I will throughout the week. Mm-hmm. But, so apparently there's a little thing that uh, 
Dolly Parton has like a little movie or whatever, and it's called Dolly Parton's Heartstrings. Yeah. And this is the person she got to cast as Jolene. Yeah. yeah every time I zoom in, it just it, it, has a fucking panic attack. Yeah. That's the best yeah, I, you're going to get, but... I got it. Banger. Yeah, I she's mean, a good she banging. She, not... She'll be right yes. here, hopefully. Right here. Yeah, we'll get her right here. But right in the middle of not, our fusion. Yeah. Not... Banging, though. She's She is really, really good looking. Her in this picture, beside Dolly Parton... If that's even remotely closer to what the real life Jolene looked like, I get it. I actually do get that. I do like me a redhead, though. I do too, but I wouldn't cheat on Dolly Parton. I think that honestly stemmed from, um... What was the mayor's assistant name? Or the mayor's secretary <laughs> yeah, in Power Girls? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like legs or... Like, I don't know, because that's yeah, all you would fucking see is her legs. Yeah, you but, just wouldn't see her head. Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, She'll be yeah. right here. We'll, we'll pull her up right here. So, Brendan, you have so much to uh, keep no. up with <laughs> this fucking episode. <laughs> no. You have to send me all the pictures, because whichever, whichever ones you don't aren't getting included. All right, I'll keep them up. And, um... Fiona. I'm surprised you didn't mention Fiona. You know who I'm talking about? No. No, hold on real quick. Oh, okay. I, I looked up who's the redhead from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Look up it, Secretary. It said Blossom. No. <laughs> okay, that can't be right. I, that is, guys, that is not who I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I promise. <laughs> it is not that fucking creepy who I'm talking about. There you go, that's her name. Miss Bellum? Bellum? Is it Bellum? Ooh, they actually show her face. Yeah, she is bad. She's pretty much just as bad as I thought she would be. And you can only see like a quarter. Yeah, she's she's banging. If that if that was real life Jolene, I'd get it. Yeah. And Fiona. From? Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I could think of. That's why I was like, God, it's a who? Scotty doesn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Scotty okay. doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. We just got copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we're not monetized. We've been sure. demonetized. <laughs> No shit. Y'all are lucky we're not making fucking shit for this podcast. <laughs> if we were, we wouldn't now. <laughs> this is going to be the first episode that we get monetization on, and it's just going to all go to Lustra's entire career. I'll censor that part before I send them any money. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay with Lustra making some money. Yeah. That but actually dear God, we need to make some fucking money from this podcast. We want to make shirts, but we're fucking poor. <laughs> <laughs> we have like eight people watching the goddamn podcast. How the fuck are we going to afford shirts? This fucking studio set us back. Yeah. Not even a studio. <laughs> we're, we're in a guest bedroom in our fucking house. Yeah. Remember how we said we were going to update about the website? It's not up yet. It costs money. <laughs> God damn it. If y'all want to start a GoFundMe or something, or you know, fucking web- subscribe. The website, I think, knew that we were broke because it kept offering a donate button. I was like, we can't put the donation button on there. Well, what sucks is the only, one of the only platforms that, like, right now we could start making money from, they took away sexual content. No more OF money. Uh, they went back on that. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was fucking stupid from the jump. Yeah, it was really dumb. I think it was just to get more attention, I guess. I don't think How they were actually... How much more attention do you need? A, a, a naked woman is the most attention you're going to get on anything. Yeah. If anything adds a naked That's, woman to it, you're going to get attention. That sounded negative, but I know you mean that as a positive. You could you could mean that as a positive towards women and negative towards men, that they'll literally just watch anything that involves a naked woman. Yeah. Boogie Nights is on my must-watch movies. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what it's fucking about. I know Heather Graham gets naked in that movie. That's why I want to fucking... I don't know what Boogie Nights is. <laughs> I've never fucking heard of it outside of that. So I'm part of that demographic. But, goddamn, yeah, we would... We're just... We, we just can't be a call-her-daddy podcast. Like, we can talk about slutty stories all we fucking want. Nobody's gonna fucking care if we talk about slutty stories. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know if you'd like to hear our yeah, slutty Let us know. We'll, we'll tell you some of our slutty stories, but goddamn, I have the sex drive of a fucking panda when I'm single, <laughs> so, so you're probably not going to hear much. Unless y'all can get us up to 100 subscribers, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll fucking breed like jackrabbits. I don't, I'll, I'll make some stories for you guys. I don't even know what we were talking about. 
Oh, we were talking about just fucking bangers and songs. That's kind of what I got right now for my list. I, I'll be thinking, because there's definitely more, like, mythological, like, people mm-hmm. that we don't know if actually are real, but... Yeah. Like, Music definitely is where it's at. Stacy's mom has got to be a pinnacle, and, like, one of the biggest reasons that, like, I love, like, Mills. Yeah. It's got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I think of it, I think of, you know, Fiona, Stacy's mom, Jess's girl, you Jolene. Know, smashes on my head. Well, if I, not just smash, but just... Oh, that hurts so much more. <laughs> that... All right, hold on, real quick, real quick. Oh, that is fucking cheap. Oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> turn, no, Can no. you tell? Yeah, turn it more, by the way. Turn it to the back, to where the... Yeah, I'm giving myself a bald spot. Where is it? <laughs> the, where the bend? No, you don't want to see the bend. Yeah. I don't want them to know that I bent it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you bent it on both sides. Wait, how do you bend it on one side? <laughs> I don't know. Make one side look. <laughs> there you go. All right. For those not watching. <laughs> he crushed a can over his head. Yeah. <laughs> Give me another one. I'm fucking... Mine's, mine's so fucking half full. Dude. I... It, you really have to do things to appreciate, like, what... Things I say a lot of stuff in my head that <laughs> totally makes sense to me, but it's just not actually like comprehensible. You gotta do things to appreciate things. It's like I'm speaking braille. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for anybody that needs a translation, I just attempted to crush that cane on my head. I did it very well. <laughs> if if I will say so myself, I thought that was pretty hardcore. One of the most metal things I've ever done. I saw a baseball player grab a can and... Oh, no, I no, no. say a bat. Because I've seen people do it with I feel like such a bats. pussy now. Give me... No, I don't want to don't, do it Frank. Nah, don't, don't fucking break Frank. <laughs> the sock. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, if you ripped it in half, that'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I just gave myself an aneurysm. <laughs> I'm going to turn this into a sock for Will Chamberlain <laughs> by the time I'm fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this <laughs> So What I was talking about Is that I saw a video of um, Of a baseball player Grab a can Smash it on his fucking forearm Holy I shit I think I just cut off circulation <laughs> <laughs> That was This has been a very physical podcast We started off with System of Downs I think that's why this is so yeah. aggressive and physical yeah. But yeah, he grabbed a cane, just smashed it on his fucking wrist and threw it to the side. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty metal. Yeah, I wish they would do something half as cool on the fucking field. I will not miss an opportunity. <laughs> what Mike Myers is to fart jokes is what I am to bashing any professional athlete that has skill inside of the MLB who's making 400 times. 400 times? That is generous. Yeah. Like 400,000 times the amount of money that I am currently making. Almost a billion times the amount that I'm making off this fucking podcast. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's, not a, yeah, like, there's not a number big enough to show how much more they're making than us making this podcast. Yeah, we're in the we're only negatives with the podcast, and they're only positives. I honestly say we're showing sport. off more athleticism on this <laughs> podcast too, and we're just we're we're not getting any fucking coin. Yeah, there's a reason every single time a fan catches a ball, it's also a highlight. It's because nothing fucking happens in that sport. Yeah. That literally if a fan catches it, it's better than the actual athletes. Yeah, because I was saying, I was like, what's the best alternative to a fan catching a ball? The player catching a (laughs) ball? (laughs) The guy getting paid hundreds of million dollars to do the same thing the fan just did for fun? (laughs) I've seen more impressive catches from fans. Like the fan that dropped the baby... Caught it and then caught the baby. An actual baby, not duh baby. He didn't just <laughs> turn, drop the baby, and then just catch the ball. He dropped a, an actual his baby. His baby. He's his not, baby. I'm assumably his baby. Well, we don't a, know if that guy's a kidnapper. <laughs> so I'm assuming. He had a beer in one hand and his baby, assuming, yeah. his baby in his other hand. Yes. He let go of the baby, caught the baseball, and then caught his baby without spilling his beer. That's the most impressive baseball play I've ever seen. It was because it wasn't by them 
boring ass athletes. And that dude smashed a bat over his head. Yeah. My Bo head. Jackson did it. Huh? Bo Jackson did it because he's an actual athlete. You need real athletes in baseball. They should. Bo Jackson got hurt, ended his career in football, and was like, fuck it, I'll be an ML- MLB player. Yeah. He was like, damn, I literally just dislocated my hip. Yeah. What other thing could I play that's not golf where I could still be one of the best to ever do it? I'll just skip. Not correctly, because, you know, my hip's fucked. But I'll, I'll just fucking prance over to the MLB. No. No question. <laughs> Jordan's like, I'm retired. Speak of Bo Jackson, Boldy James and the Alchemist just dropped an album called Bo Jackson. Today. How was it? I haven't heard it yet. I listened to Donda. Which we need to talk about Donda. But first, okay, you said something about Bo Jackson. That made me think of Bo, uh, Bo Jack Horseman, which then made me think about Chadwick Boseman. Yes. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. I wish I would have been wearing the Black Panther shirt this week. Because I wore it like an episode or two ago. This would have been much more fitting. I was going to say, you could change real quick. You burped during my eulogy. <laughs> you burped during my goddamn eulogy. You could change real quick. And then just like come in here and be like, the rest in peace. Yeah. And then I'll and then change back into that shirt. And that'll be the only part that you have the Black Panther shirt. I will not do any of that. I will... Don't do it. <laughs> you should not do that. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Join me or you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's racist. It kind of is. As a white person to do. You can... You can support... Yeah. You can support that nation going? without being racist. You can. It's like the least racist thing you can do, honestly. Yeah. I don't... I'm not doing... You're a pussy and <laughs> racist. <laughs> you're a pussy racist. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Russie. Sound off. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> sound off in the comments. Hashtag Brendan's Russie. <laughs> That's Brendan's with a yeah, the apostrophe. Yeah. It, it, Brendan is Russie. Yeah. Well, before we talk about Donda, <laughs> <laughs> let me know in the comments if that's racist. Yeah, I I didn't know if it was. Um, looking back at it, looking back to two seconds ago, I have genuinely never seen a white person do that. <laughs> I have at least never seen that documented. So, yeah, let us know if it's safe for me to be the poster child of of that. No, <laughs> you sound like you had something. How do you feel about Donda? Did you listen to all of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. For okay, so I listened to like the first half of it, and then for whatever reason, my phone went into shuffle. So then it was kind of because I was at the gym when I listened to it. So yeah. it's kind of hard to keep track of what I did and then listen to. But yeah. I which, know I have at least listened to seventy five percent of the album. Which, to be fair, listening to it, <laughs> dude, that shit was wild. Hear that? That was wild, dude. I I don't know what it is, but I have scratched my ass, and it has made the same noise. Like it, it has gotten to the point like where. Uh, well, uh, okay, so me and my girlfriend are like uh, 40-year-old people, apparently, by the story that I'm about to tell, but we will get in bed, turn on the lamps, and she'll read a book, and I'll just play my Switch. So it literally just seems like she is just dating a 12-year-old child, and she's 80. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what it is. And then I'll you I'll just reach down, and you'll hear... It just sounds like sandpaper. Yeah. It just sounds like I'm wiping my asshole with sandpaper. <laughs> I don't know. I've been trying new soap recently. I don't know if that's what it is because I got. I don't, know. I, don't I, I don't have acne in the worst spots like face. Yeah, my face is pretty all right. Yeah, I, I got this thing going on right now, but yeah, I get a little bit every now and then. Yeah, for the most part, I don't get face acne, but I'll get I'll get some acne on like my thighs. I mean, oh. What the fuck is going on? You know, like why my thighs? Yeah, like I don't know. But so I, I tried a new soap and it's it's supposed to like dude it's fucking rough. Is it's like I can tell it, it's exfoliating. Yeah. Shit. So like I remember when I first like started washing myself with it, it, it felt like there were shards of glass in the fucking soap. I won't say the brand because I really hope they'll sponsor us one day. <laughs> but 
But my god, it feels like I'm watching my body with like shards of sand. It is so fucking rough. And I didn't know if I needed to like switch to a different soap to wash my asshole. I didn't know how safe or practical it is to exfoliate your asshole. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I I don't really keep up with the pores on my asshole. So, and please, if a dermatologist is watching <laughs> this, please let me know if it is healthy to exfoliate my asshole. Yeah, let let's be real. I was gonna say like out of the eight of you that watch, but no wait, one of them's a yeah, dermatologist, I say, right? Yeah, ten. It's about ten on YouTube, and then we get about forty on. Everything else. So, about no. out of the 50. Dude, if you put an average on views that we got, we're going fucking crazy right now. Oh, yeah. The clips go crazy. The reels are going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Like, right fucking now. Yeah, you know, maybe right. that won't be the same in a couple days, yeah. but as we speak, yeah, people are watching us. So? Nobody's subscribing or paying us or sponsoring us or even appreciating us or fucking commenting or... Or following. What is, some of the easiest fucking shit you can do, nobody's fucking doing. All right, calm down. Deep breath. We appreciate it. Yeah. For the people that do watch, we really do appreciate it a lot. <laughs> I hope that hit the camera. <laughs> All right. So how did you feel about the album? I... I liked it. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't want to go too crazy with it or... You know, show too much personality, <laughs> but, but no, it, it really seemed like I, I didn't have a. I, I really didn't have a lot of like hope going into it, like just in general. <laughs> all I wanted was it to not be his worst. Yes, that's all I wanted. Yeah, same. Because you know, the the more shit I saw about it, the higher the expectations got, which means it was going to be a bigger disappointment if it didn't, yeah. like, at least meet minimum standards. Yeah. Because I was like, it's going to be, at the very least, we know that the, there's going to be quality production. Yes. At the very fucking least. Kanye, at his worst, which I would still say is Jesus is King. The production is so good. I the, love some of those songs. I think the production keeps him, like, honestly above, like, a three or four every album he drops. Yeah. It's yeah. just such Produ- good production. Yeah. So, I mean, and, people were losing their minds on the song that he was doing, the scoop de whoop de Yeah, I mean, the production was Just because was the production good. was so damn good. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, nah, which, nah. I mean, yeah. yeah which, solid speaking production. of production, if I ever see Mike Dean in public... I'm gonna give him a kiss just for jail. How good that electric guitar solo is! Oh, okay, I'm gonna just smooch him. Have, have you seen what Mike Dean looks like? No, nah, he's, I want he, he's ugly. I want yeah, he's him. pretty ugly. Uh, yeah, I said not nah, like, but I was uh, yes, yes. I've seen Mike Dean. He's ugly. Yeah, I don't know. I, if I said not. Nah. Yeah, I. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would I, I don't that electric if, guitar solo. Yeah, I that don't care if he wrote Fight Club. I, <laughs> I'm not kissing that guy. But I mean, I don't know. There's a bunch of features in it which made me excited but then yeah. you know and it kept getting delayed so I was like ah oh, it's only raising expectations he rebuilt um Donda's house his childhood home his childhood home in Chicago in the uh third listening party in Chicago in what stadium is that oh I don't know yeah he he, he bought out a stadium and yeah was living there and rebuilt. Oh, the he house was, there. he was living in the Mercedes Stadium. Yeah, and I think that was where his like big like viewing party or listening party yeah. happened a few days ago. Yeah, but so it it just did it just raised expectations more, and I was like, man, you know the the bigger they are, the harder they fall, and he was just building up to be even bigger, and I was like, man, this better not be a bust. But yeah, there is some like legitimate uh, songs that have. Uh, Good playback power. Yeah. Like, the ones that stand out to me is, like, uh, Hurricane. Hurricane's yeah. probably going to be a pretty popular one. Yeah. Jail. But, yeah. Which is the Jay-Z feature. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's so that's the, good. Yeah, that's the one I said I'd kiss my Dean over. That oh, was, is, that the, is that the second one? Yeah, Jail. That electric guitar solo. Oh, yeah. Where he, he said, I don't have to see you to touch you. Um, 
uh, that's what Braille or something. Yeah. That's what Braille means, or that's what Braille looks like. Yeah. It, it goddamn Jay Z still got it. He's he will he will show out anytime Nas drops an album, or if he's going to be on Kanye song. <laughs> yeah. And I'll say if you want any proof, listen to the remix of Di- uh, Diamonds from Sierra Leone. Yeah, he, went he knew he was going to be on Kanye's album. The same one, I think that's the same album that had uh, Big Brother. No, 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 Big Brother's on. Big Brother's after that because he even talks about that in Big Brother, where yeah. he's like, uh, Big Brother came through and whooped my ass. Yeah, like, yeah, like Jay Z will show the fuck out. <laughs> if there's two people he despises. It's his little brother and Nas and Kim. He was in nothing that during the phase of like Kanye getting with Kim. Once yeah. Kanye was with Kim, they didn't even when, go to their wedding, right? No, that's when like Jay Z stayed like stayed away. And now that they're getting the divorce, Jay Z's on the album. I honestly, saw shit that they were getting back together, like they were trying to rebuild. Maybe I, I mean I, I just think seen, maybe he just did that so he could get a Jay Z feature in his back. I mean, she's been posting a lot about it. Oh my god, you're falling apart. Yeah, no, dude, I'm mean, so um, goddamn old. So, no, yeah, not, that's yours. I'll be yeah, respectful. Not, no. That's also yours. I'll be respectful. You got me that, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, <laughs> keep Sammy up there. No, no, name the forehead's big, buddy. <laughs> keep that hat on. Holy shit! I can move the mic to where I want it to be. Oh yeah. All right, so now that everything has fallen over, (laughs) (laughs) corn dogged him to hell. But the the Kim getting back with Kanye. Kim said that she's not dropping the West last name. She's going to keep that part of her last name. She did the the fake wedding at the third listening party. Like, were they fake married? Has they already married? I don't know. It was weird. But are they even divorced? I don't think. I think they're going through the divorce. Yeah. So it's not official yet. Uh, I think. I don't know for sure. So, yeah. I, I could see them getting back together. Which, cool. Good for their 12 kids they have now. But. What a cool last name, though. West. West. There's. St. West is a cool fucking name. Northwest. Northwest is an <laughs> interesting yeah. Name, just starting to sound like an airline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I'm kind of upset that I'm not a woman a lot. Like, one, I think we'd have so many more like subscribers if I was a woman. It depends. What do you mean it depends? If you're an ugly woman, doesn't it matter. Yes, it you does. Fucking kidding me? There's yes, trolls, <laughs> like legitimately women that look like trolls that make fucking bank. If I was ugly, I could still act like a fucking dog and get money. I could show off my fucking feet. Or I could just show my big ugly tits and there's going to be... Or I could be a dominatrix. Women will make money. It doesn't matter how ugly they are. That's not true. There is... there. I don't think there's ever a scenario when a woman walks out of the house is if they can get laid or not. I think a woman can get laid any point of the day. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like for guys, it's not that far off. Guys can get laid as long as you're not ugly. Dude, there's so many guys I don't get that. Isaac Newton died a virgin. <laughs> yeah, he's ugly. It's Isaac Newton. Yeah, he's ugly. <laughs> it's, it's like a like a modern day um I almost said Elton John, <laughs> but uh, What the oh. fuck's his name? Elon Musk. <laughs> like a modern day Elon Musk. Wait, no, he wasn't Elon- as cool. He wasn't as cool as Elon Musk. Doesn't Elon have, like, Asperger's or something? Yeah, but he's at least cool about it. Yeah, he's fucking Grimes. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, bro announced gravity. He couldn't get any puss off of that? Yeah, people were like, you're a fucking idiot until he died. Right? Wasn't everything, like, proven after he died? Are you thinking of, uh, thinking of Mozart? I think there's a lot of people that's that way, right? Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. They didn't come up with uh, the Raven, the Baltimore Ravens, until like he's already dead. For yeah. I mean, how how shitty is that? Like, I mean, on a, I don't think the NFL was around <laughs> for for that to be a thing. But if I would have known that, whenever I was in the stage of like, 
I got to pick my favorite NFL team right now, mm. I think I probably would have picked the Ravens. Yeah, if I, I would have known that, because that's such a cool fucking thing that they're yeah. named after him. Yeah, like, I he mean, lived I, in Baltimore. You know, the Raven is probably his most prolific story. Yeah, I have a tattoo of it. I have his entire right writing discography. I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. His whole it can't be discography, right? No, it's not discography. It's not filmography. It's not. It's um. I don't know. You know, this is what separates us from real nerds. I'm okay yeah. with not knowing that. Yeah, I, really I am, am too. I kind of wish I did just for... I kind of don't. Right now. Because we're nerds. We're, we're definitely nerds. I mean... Yeah, uh, I just said I have an Edgar Allan Poe tattoo. So, I mean, if we yeah. could do a panoramic view of this room, we're fucking nerds. But yeah. I'm so glad I don't know what the yeah. entire, like... Your writing work is. That's just a resume? Uh, what, what's a... Don't know. But oh, yeah. I'm okay with not knowing yeah. that. But I have that, and it's right over there. So, Do you think that's what Poe was named after? The the, the panda? The, the Kung panda, Fu panda Kung Fu? I don't know why. No I fucking mean, way, panda, right? not yeah. a crow. Yeah, <laughs> no way, right? But no, I, I don't know. I wish I had a cooler last name to give off, like give to somebody one day, because it's just Crable. I have been called Crabble so many times throughout my like life of roll call. Yeah. But I remember we went to school with a guy named, uh, his last name was Nasty. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bad last name. Are you kidding me? I hate that last You're name. You're immediately, like, in the WWE Hall of Fame if they call you Mr. Nasty. No, Can you ma- a, getting married, last name. you're now Mr. and Mrs. Nasty. Yeah, that's ass. Nasty. That's ass. I don't like that at all. All right, whatever, corn. <laughs> I think that's so fucking nasty. Yeah. To me, that's like that's up there with Slaughter I like, for me. Slaughter's a cool ass name. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, Sergeant Nasty. I don't like nasty. You gotta say it right. You don't just go nasty. That nasty. just sounds gross. You gotta nasty. Like Miss Nasty. It's not mean what I just sent, but you know you're getting old whenever someone like says like, "Oh, what year are you this year?" Like Happy Thirtieth when they're mm-hmm. like fifty. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't intentionally mean for it to be a dick thing, but I was like. Uh, happy 30th birthday, Becky, but, yeah. I yeah. Know. I don't know, if somebody told me that, I'd be like, okay. It's going to be the last birthday wish I get. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> of the Crispin wall this shit. So, hypothetical of the <clears throat> week. Yeah, we're bringing them back this week. Mm-hmm. If you were reincarnated as an animal based on your personality, what animal do you think you would come back as? I'm not going to lie. I feel like we've done this one before. Yeah. I, no, we've done spirit animal. Yeah. I think you come back as a dung beetle. I don't. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> you're dung. useful, but you're a piece of shit. I don't know. Fuck okay, you. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'd be better to... What, what do you think... Okay, so I have thought about the scenario that if I was a ghost, and hear me out, because this will align, if I was a ghost, I have always thought about what I would do if I was a ghost, because I don't think I'm necessarily, like, malicious or evil, but I would definitely do stuff. I'd inconvenience people a lot. Yeah, I'd be like a a trickster, almost. People are holding their phone, I'd smack it out of their hands a whole lot. yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Like... Instead of like, I would pour out their their coffee grounds and put crack cocaine. <laughs> huh? Is there? Is crack cocaine and like crack the same thing? I believe so. Or is it kind of like a strawberry vanilla swirl? <laughs> is it kind of a <laughs> like combination of the two? I actually don't know. Yeah, cause I've never like, thought about it in that. I've heard of crack and I've heard of cocaine, but then I've also heard crack cocaine. We're white. Yeah. Or it's, really It's white. good that we don't know that. I don't know. Are we missing out on, like, life? <laughs> Who the fuck is... What the fuck is your animal? You know, <laughs> the whitest thing I think I've ever been a part of... I actually have two answers. I know I one of them. It. You know one of them. Yeah. Do I know the other one? No. I, I okay. hope not. Okay. Um, I often... I'm usually talking about the rapper... And no disrespect, by the way... Because R.I.P. Two totally different cultures. But I have often mixed up uh, DMX with BMX. How? What do you mean? 
I mean, alphabetically, it makes total sense. I mean, They're yeah. literally a letter away. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, are you saying, like, you've seen people on bikes and being like, oh, that's that's cool that they're into DMX? Oh, okay, or that's why I say have you heard more like, than the other. Because have you heard, like, DMX playing and you're like, oh, shit, BMX is hitting? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have done that oh, yeah, so done, often. Or maybe if it doesn't even go verbal, but in my head I'll be like, which, which one am I about to say? Is this the DMX or the BMX? Like, I really got to think about it. I have to think about it way too much. And I know if if you don't know English and you're just learning English, this makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because you're just like, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Like, phone should be pony. <laughs> but, yeah. but I have lived in America my entire life, and I feel like this is just such a gap in my knowledge. Like, I feel like I should know, like, there should be no question in my head if I'm listening to uh, Where the Hood At. Yeah. I should not be like, huh, is this BMX? <laughs> is this some BMX I'm listening to right now? Yeah. And then, you know, obviously me thinking that a, a trap house was a haunted house. In all fairness, there was, like, mist and red lights. Well, not mist. That just sounds like, like a spa. <laughs> there, there was fog and red lights being shown yeah. at um, Camp Vlogna when we was at a, like, YG showing. He had, you know, like, his merch and shit available. And beside it, there was this sketchy-looking, like, trailer with a bunch of, like, cars parked in the front yard. It looked abandoned. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, why is there a haunted house here? And both you and my girlfriend looked at me like... I was the most privileged piece of shit I've ever <laughs> talked to. And I was like, that's a trap house. <laughs> that He is showing that because that's where they used to fucking slang drugs out of. That is not a haunted house. And I was like, it looks scary to me. <laughs> like, I, I think I would be much more scared going into there than, like, the fill the screams. <laughs> you know, so one and the same for me. A trap house is a haunted house. I hope that wasn't racist. <laughs> I, no, I think me bringing that up was racist. Because <laughs> that is not a race thing. God damn it. I'm, I'm just burying myself this episode. <laughs> so, what animal do I think I would be? Yes. Um. So, yeah. Like, like I said, if I was... Off of personality. Yes. And this isn't necessarily my pers- like personality as I'm alive or as a human being that could go to jail... But as a ghost, I always thought I'd be more of a trickster, just doing small inconvenient shit. Mm-hmm. I need to look up the name. What's what's an animal that like pretty much always minds its own business? Capybara. And then, yeah, I'm a capybara. Think you're a capybara? Yeah. What do you think I was? A bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm someone who just minds their own business, does their own thing. So not a shark. <laughs> no. Sharks are definitely not out there minding their own business. No, sharks definitely... Maybe a sea turtle? Yeah. But no, I think that would also be more of a beach lifestyle. I don't think you have a beach lifestyle. You a beaver? <laughs> Cabibara. Um, still edible by vegetarians, so... Beaver or so Cabibara, by, the same. By pescatarians, but still crazy. I had to look it up. Quit scratching your rough skin. I think I'm a Kia. <laughs> the bird? The, <laughs> the bird? The bird out of New Zealand that just takes apart cars. I I genuinely think if I didn't have any consequences in this life, I would be out there doing shit like that. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know what a Kia is. Picture here. Picture right here. But uh, Kia's are adorable little birds that are native to New Zealand and they will often just take cars apart. Yeah. Um, nobody really knows why. There's no reason for them to. Definitely not evolutionary, but... They're just assholes. They just do it. And I genuinely think that's so funny. I think that's super fucking funny. And it's not just like one or two of them that deserve. Yeah. Like, they'll just come down on cars and just start doing it together. Like, they're like... This is our day. You know, this yeah. is part of what we do. So, oh shit. Here's a car pulling up. 
Yeah. Let's get his ass. I wonder if there's cars that, like, their colors are more susceptible or maybe stained out yeah. a little bit more to those birds that make them more attracted to them. The racist Cause, birds. Because I know when I used to work um, work downtown, there was an odd amount of dragonflies. Mm-hmm. And they would always fuck on my car. <laughs> like, I swear to God, I, I, drive, a, I drive a bluish-gray car... And there'd be so many other cars in the parking lot, and every day there would be dragonflies fucking on my car. I don't know why. Is it like the color of your car? I I don't... It had to be. Yeah. It had to be, unless it was just like, I don't know, the fucking smell of my car. The the having Pop-Tarts all in your car? Yeah, maybe they were just attracted to that, and the smell of uh, cherry frosted Pop-Tarts turned them on, and they just started fucking above my car. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe that's an aphrodisiac for dragonflies, but... Yeah, I think that'd be a Kia. I think that just sounds a lot of fun. They're, yeah. I don't think they really have a lot of things that fuck with them. Um, a more disturbing thing about them is that they will eat the back fat off of sheep. Like, they yeah. literally just park on top of sheep, and they'll just tear their fat out of their fucking back, and yeah. they don't really do anything, you know, because they're sheep. They don't have hands. So, I must I, suck not <clears throat> to have hands. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or thumbs, more specifically. That's like pretty much what separates us from anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, right? Well, I mean, because orangutans have hands, but and thumbs. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I could shoot an orangutan in the fucking face and win that fight. So yeah. there's got to be more to it. A, I, saw a a cool. I saw a video. I saw a video of how like scary orangutans are if they just wanted to be, yeah. but they just don't. They're I, just kind of chill and hanging out. And well, they can't be. They very much can be. Yeah. It, I think I've seen, like, something of, like, them breaking out of the zoo. Like, every... Or they were, like, releasing other animals from the zoo, and then they'd go back and hide. Yeah. And, like, they're... And be like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Just every day. So I don't think it's that bad in here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired of them bitching. <laughs> but I don't... I always, I always like the stories of just, like, oh, watch this orangutan, like, nurse a baby kitten. And I'm like, I wonder how many kittens they went through. <laughs> Before he was just like, you know what? I'm tired of ripping their heads off. I'll feed it. <laughs> Dude, they're absolutely terrifying animals. Yeah, well, because like it's like the same shit. Like they'll give um, cause cheetahs are notoriously like stressed out in zoos. Yeah, I just which found they out. fucking should be. Yeah, I would be I just, stressed out. Yeah, I just found out about this too. Yeah, but they'll give them dogs. Like they have to pet kinda, dogs. Yeah, they cheetahs pretty much have pet dogs. Have pets. Yeah. How fucking crazy is that? And it, they're stress reliefs. Like, yeah. dogs are so... Dogs are easily the best animals on this planet next to a Kia. <laughs> but, but, yeah, they're pretty fucking amazing. And I wonder what asshole figured that out. Because they got to be a dick, right? They're like, dude, this dog barks all goddamn night. I'm so fucking sick of it. I'm going to throw it in a goddamn cage with a cheetah. And then the cheetah becomes more playful. And they're like, yeah, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I bring this thing back home to my fucking kids. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Although you just fucking bouncing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of cool with uh, that ending there. You know, yep. um, you're a Kia. Thanks for, thanks for watching us on TikTok. Thanks for watching our reels. Um, we'd appreciate it a lot more if y'all actually followed or subscribed or commented. And we do appreciate the comments. Uh, yeah. e- even the ones that are easily trying to scam people. <laughs> uh, I hope our viewers are smart enough and dermatologists to the point where they can tell me if I should exfoliate my asshole more or less. Yeah. And if they can tell the fact that there are clear scam links in our comments. Yeah. Yeah. But And you know, check out Coach Cam with the hits. Yeah. If y'all buy a beat from him, if y'all can afford to buy a beat from him, dear fucking Christ, help us. <laughs> Donate to us. Um um, if y'all donate, we might actually be able to release shirts finally. I've had the shirt saved in my phone for two fucking years, but we haven't made a goddamn penny, so we also have a website that might be coming up. <laughs> I hope it does. We'll say the same thing as last time. We'll tell you more about it next next week on the episode. <laughs> It'll cost you, though. More information will cost you. And don't forget, like, subscribe, review, rate, anything that helps. Anything that you think might help, it does. 
Share it. Let's we'll do it. Sharing would be the best, actually. Yeah, I'll say, um, yeah. you know your elderly grandma that has no idea what the fuck's going on? You know how you might just play, like, some sonic sounds or her, like, 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 <laughs> sounds of the rainforest to her to keep her, to keep her dementia in mind busy? Let us be the sonic sounds. Play jamming. <laughs> yeah. We're Jam the- out with your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma has amnesia or dementia or Alzheimer's. Just play us in the background. Jam out with dementia. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show us to your grandma. And that's been jamming with Ron Rice.